Hey, Rossas, good morning. It is time for Monday morning motivation, all right? All right, who is here? Let me see who's gonna join me for this Monday morning motivation. So I'm gonna share with you some tangible tips. That's right, some tan, let me get some more music in the background here. You know, I like to light it up here. Some tangible tips on how to get started on a Monday. Hey, Ashley. All right, so there are four things that you get to do. Is that five? <laughs> Who sent me some stars? Was that Ashley? Who was that? Thank you. You guys made my day right off the bat. All right, I see Marilyn in the house. I see Tony. Joe is in the house. Le Leroy's in the house. Listen, you guys, I'm gonna give you some tangible ways that you can get started on Monday morning. One, two, three, four. Four things that you get to do to start your Monday off right. Who knows what number one is? Who knows what number one is, right? Who knows what number one is? That's right. Who knows what number one is? So when you wake up in the morning, Gail and Frank, what's the first thing you do, right? Do you reach over and get your alarm clock and look at your phone and write and see what's going on in everybody else's life. And then, ooh, what? Oh, yes. Dr. Nikiva said, set your intentions. That's right, all right. All right, I got some leaders in the house. Raise your hand if you got some leaders in the house, right? So, you get to set your intention for the day and for the week. When you wake up in the morning, right? What is your intention, right? <laughs> What is your intention, right? So that is the first thing that you get to do, right? You get to say, okay, what is my plan for the day? Because if you don't plan it, guess what will happen? You'll fall into your old habits, right? So when I wake up in the morning, right, I think about what does my day look like? What does my week look like? How do I want to feel this week at the end of the week? I also have, look you guys, I have a board up with all my goals, right? I'm just letting you in. See that? I have my goals on my board so that I can see it. I can see it. So the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is you set your intention, all right? And then I want you to say this. Think about it. Say it with me. Think about it. Say it one more time. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Your thoughts, okay? Your thoughts are like the navigation system of your life, right? So you know you want to go somewhere in your phone, okay? You have to know, you have to plug into that navigation center. That's your thoughts. Your thoughts are navigating your life, right? So number one, set your intention. Number two, I want you to think about it. Think about it. What does that mean? Don't think about the stuff you don't want. Oh, Lord, I don't want to go to work today. Oh, Lord, I don't want to get on this workout. Oh, Lord, that's thinking about what you don't want. Think about what you do want, right? Woo! I'm going to get that money today. I'm going to get that money. I'm going to multiply and level up my life. I'm going to get that workout in. I'm going to feel strong. I'm going to feel good, right? I'm going to eat that healthy food. I'm going to think about what you want to create. Number one, are you guys with me? Think, number one, set your intention. Number two, think about it. So some people say, oh, I wish I could. Oh, one day I'm gonna, that's not an intention. That's a dream and a hope. Oh, one day I'm gonna, you know, when I hope. No, no, no. Set your intention. The intention begins with, I am, I can, I will, I am able. What? What? I am, I can, I will, I am able, right? That's what an intention is. That's what an intention is. You put it in your body. You put it in your body. Hey, Violetta, come with us. Okay, so then you think about it. Now, this is the thing. We have a lot of thoughts. We have a lot of thoughts. That's right, Cheryl, GPP, goals, purpose, and plan, baby. We have a lot of thoughts that go through our heads. So for me, I don't know about you, right? After a while, like, it gets hard to hold on to those thoughts, right? You can't hold on to all the thoughts. So the next thing you do is you write about it, you guys. Write about it. I give you all the tools necessary to be successful in life. You see this? I created this because I live this. CCC equals FFF. 
This is my journal. This is my daily Bible. Constant, consistent commitment for a fifth year of Fabulous Life. So I wake up in the morning and I write down my goals, right? What are my goals for today? What are my goals? Write them down. So you wake up, you set your intention, what you want your life to look like. Do a short-term intention by the end of the week. How do you want to feel, right? Then you think about what are you going to do, what you get to accomplish in order to create that. Then write it down. Write it down, you guys. You know why? I think I even told you this last week. When you write something down, you give it its own life, right? So now I don't have to worry about holding it all day, holding it in my head. I can say, oh, let me see what my intention is. Let me see what my goals are. There it is. Boom. And guess what that does? Reinforcement, baby. Reinforcement and repetition. Every time you look at it, you get reinforced with your goals. That repetition goes in your high. Guess what? There's another reason why you write it down. We are trained to believe the things that we read. What? Oh my God, mind blowing moment, right? So we read a whole bunch of stuff from other people, but what do you read that you wrote down, right? What kind of story are you writing? So that's right, when you think about it, then you write about it. And you guys, are you with me? Get your, get your CCC FFF journal, you see that? Is that beautiful or what? Beautiful, like ultra high. It's amazing. This is something that you want to have with you at all times. This is your Fit, Fierce, and Fabulous Bible. Your journal, right? Your journal. This is a story that you're writing for yourself. If you don't have one of these, get one. Write it down. Guess what else you can do? You can reflect and see where you have been so you'll know where you are going, right? A lot of times, you're like this. Every day, living the same life over and over again because you forgot what you wanted to do. You forgot where you wanted to go. You forgot about it. Hey, Mary Padilla. So when you write things down, right, you stay on purpose. You look at that page or I look at my board over here and I go, oh, wait, I got stuff to do, right? I have stuff to do. So you got to make sure that you can see it so that you remember, you re reinforce what it is. So we said set your intention in the morning, right? That means you wake up and you don't find other people's dreams first. What are your dreams? This is other people's dreams. Before you look at other people's dreams on the phone, know what your dreams are, set your intention, then think about it. Think about like what gets to happen? Who do you get to be? Hey Carrie, well who do you get to be in order to accomplish this attention. You write it down, you think about it, you write it down. And the last thing, the last thing, who knows what the third thing is, right? Oh my God, here's that, okay, well, yeah. Cheryl says she loves journaling. What's thing number three? I love those stars. Who sent me the stars in the beginning? You guys know I love you when you send me the stars because I'm a raw star, right? Mm. This is so good. I've been talking all morning, right? Oh, look at all that love. Oh, I can't see the name though. All right, hey Shireen, what is the last thing, you guys? So I, I like to repeat things over and over so you guys get it. So I'm giving you tangible ways in order to live a better life, you guys. Number one, when you wake up in the morning, set your intention. Number two, think about it. Think about it. Think about it from the, I can, I am, I will, I am able. Yes, say it again, I can, I am, I am will, I am able. This is how you think about things. Don't think about what you don't want, think about what you want. Third thing, third thing is what? Write it down, you guys. Write down your goals for the week, for the year, for the month, right? Write them down so that you will know where you are going. What's the last one? Hey, ho, ho, ho. Let me tell you something, the last thing is, be about it. What? Be about it. Look, I'm not judging anybody, right? <laughs> but I remember once when I was teaching my gym, I had some instructors that would come in to work for me. And I see them smoking and drinking. These are some yoga instructors, right? I was like, mm, you got to be congruent, right? No judgment, right? But you got to be about that life, you guys. You got to be about that life. That means you get up. That's right. That's right, Shireen. I drink this after. I drink these all day long. You know why? I like this sound. You hear that? 
How many of you guys like that sound? I love this sound, right? The ice shattering with the water makes it taste so much better. So look. Be about it means what are you eating? What are you drinking? How are you moving? Yeah, I said it. Don't talk about being healthy and then go to the bar every night. Don't talk about being, <laughs> Shereen loves that sound too. Don't talk about being healthy and saying, I'm gonna start my workouts tomorrow, right? Don't talk about being in shape and saying, hmm, that's enough for me because fitness people like to challenge themselves. So you get to be about it. That means that you dive into the lifestyle dive into the lifestyle of being about that fit, fierce, and fabulous way of life. That means that you drink lots of water, you exercise every day, you eat healthy foods, you think positive thoughts, you help others, right? You help lift each other up. This is what a fit, fierce, and fabulous lifestyle is. Don't be duplicitous, right? Don't work out, right? And then go binge eat, right? Why are you doing that? Don't, right, don't go to bed at night drunk, Right, clean up your act. Clean up your act, you guys. That's why I, I said it. You gotta be about that life. That means put yourself in alignment. And if you can't do it alone, get some help. Get some help. Go and do whatever you need to do to get yourself in a community that will hold you high and lift you up, okay? That will hold you high and lift you up. Let me tell you, when you're about that life, you're not about drugs, you're not about alcohol, you're not about poor quality food, you're not about poor quality thoughts or friends that don't lift you up and hold you high, right? So I'm telling you guys the truth, you guys. I'm telling you the truth. So number one, set your intention. Number two, Think about it, right? Think about it. Number three, write about it. Number four, be about it. Think about it, write about it, be about it. You feel me? Think about it, write about it, be about it. You feel me? Think about it, write about it, be about it. So be about it. Who are you being? Who are you being every day? Who are you being? Are you being a positive person or a negative person? Are you being healthy today or unhealthy today? Are you being abundant in your thinking or scarcity in your, scarce in your thinking, right? Are you being helpful to lovers, others, or are you being negative towards others? Who are you being? Who are you being? Because that's the life that you are creating. Think about it, write about it, be about it. I love you guys. Share this video with a friend who wants to be uplifted today. That's your part. Share this video with a friend who needs to hear this. I love you guys.